Hey guys, it's Mac OS Guru X here, and I'm going to show you guys uh, my Pandora's battery and how to make it. So, I recently did this when I was home, sick for a day, so if I can just open this up. Okay, so just to show you real quick what I'm running is I'm running 5.0 uh, M33 custom firmware by Dark Alex. Alright, so there. Proof that what I did actually works. Alright. Okay. So now we're going to take out the battery and show you what I did. So to start, here's the battery. Okay, you can say there. Now, not this is for PSP Slim only. Um, there is a PSP Fat way to do it, but it is non-reversible. By doing this PSP Slim way, then you can reverse it right after you make the Pandora's battery, which is good for Slim users. But not all Slim batteries will work because some of them have different chips inside of them and you need one of the older versions so if you have a new slim you might be out of luck but we don't know unless you try it so probably the hardest part of doing this would be opening this case I used a box cutter to uh, cut the edges you can see maybe that now okay so we'll open that up it should just pop off once you cut it through now, once you're inside, you get this. You want to slowly and carefully lift this up and take out this black piece. If it wants to come out without breaking. There we go. And then there's the battery back there. You want to lift it? Okay. Now this is the second hardest part. Now on this chip is a certain area you have to cut. Now, uh, it's very hard to see with this camera. Let's see if I can fix that. No. Okay. But about over here, right about there I'll post pictures is a number 19 on the chip so on the right uh, to the left of the number 19 you'll see that a um, you'll see a copper wire that you're going to cut carefully careful because if you cut too much you can slice through the chip which is very bad um, so yeah so you cut that you as soon as that's done you will put the black back, you'll close it up, and you will simply just put the cover back on, and if it, to know if it did work, as soon as you, to make sure that you have the Pandora's battery, what it'll do is, you hold down your trigger that you set, mine would be left, but this isn't a Pandora's battery, because I restored it, and as you just simply slide it in and it would turn on automatically which will install your custom firmware but we're not going to do that right now because I don't feel like making a Pandora ba Pandora's battery right now so we're going to pop this back out ah alright it's stuck this is going to take a second Alright, this may happen because I'm supposed to seal the battery back up before putting it back in, but... Oops. Okay. Opening this back up.
Okay, so sorry about that. I forgot to close it all the way when I put it back in. So now that we have this, and it has been Pandorized, which would be done, what you're going to do is you're going to open it back up with the same procedure. Take it, take this chip, take out the black slice, put that aside, take it. Now where you made that cut, you want to take an ordinary number two lead pen or graphite pencil, and wherever you made that cut, you want to fill it in with the graphite because graphite is a conductor and will conduct the electricity back through the wire, which will allow you to have a normal battery again. So as soon as that's done, we are going to put this back in once more. Now, once you're done, you can seal it up with probably once around with tape, or you can glue it, but if you glue it, you're probably going to have a really hard time getting back into it. But, um, like, uh, I suggest just once around with a piece of scotch clear tape and just put it back in to hold it back together because then if you need to get back in and maybe use Pandora again because you have to reset your PSP then you'll be able to get back in and just erase the graphite out of your battery and you'll have a Pandora again. So that's how you make a Pandora's battery. Uh, this is risky if you do do it there is a slight chance that your battery will start smoking and you'll have to buy a new battery. Now, anything that happens to your PSP, I am not responsible for. This is your own doing. You choose to do it on your own and anything that happens is not my responsibility. So, if you do this, then and your PSP battery starts smoking and it does not work or anything does not work, then it is not my fault and it is your own doing so proceed at your own risk but uh, this was my first time doing it I did it pretty easily so I guess so can you um, it's really not that hard if you do it on a slim battery however doing it on a fat battery is a lot harder so that is how you make a PSP Pandora's battery for the PSP Slim so if you like this video then check out my other ones uh, please subscribe and thanks for watching